Hello everybody and welcome to the next lesson. In this lesson we are going to learn about the filter editor. The filter editor is what we can use to either modify a preset filter or to make our own filter from scratch. To demonstrate it first I'm just going to draw a simple object and I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to go to blurs apparition and I'm going to apply the apparition filter. Next I'm going to filters, filter editor and I see that on the right hand side the filter editor dialog appears. I'm going to just resize it quickly to have a better view of what's going on. So if I look at the filter editor dialog, I see on the left side a list of filters. I currently have apparition and it's checked to show that uh, it's been applied to the currently selected object. I also have a new button here which I can use to make a new filter from scratch. On the right side I have a list of effects. We see we have morphology, Gaussian blur and composite applied in this particular filter. Uh, these effects require an input and also have an output. Possible inputs for each effect are the output of a previous effect, like we see here in Gaussian blur. The input for the Gaussian blur effect is the output for the morphology effect. Another possible import is the source graphic, which is just the object to which the filter is applied. The source alpha, that's the same, but only the alpha channel is considered. And then we have the background out image, which is the image uh, behind, the object behind the object to which the filter is applied and the background alpha. So beware, when we will be using the background image and the background alpha, we need to make a small tweak in the SVG file uh, before we can use this function. But I will show you that when the time is right. Fill paint and stroke paint can also be used as input, but as I um, believe these two functions are not currently working, so I never use them anyway, uh, so we will skip, we will not talk about that. What kind of effects are there? You've got a list of effects, one, two, three, quite a lot, blend, color matrix, etc. We will talk about all of these effects. To add the effect, you just select the effect you're looking for, for example, merge, and you click on add effect. There's a short description of what the effect does here, but we will be looking at them in more detail uh, in the future lessons. Uh, if we want to remove the effect, let's just right click on it and click on remove. We also have uh, effects parameter dialog. If I select one of these effects, I see that uh, the parameters which I can change here, uh, I, the parameters which appear here change. I can modify these parameters. For example, if I select on, click on uh, morphology, then I can choose between erode and dilate and it changes the output of the filter. I can change the radius. When it comes to Gaussian blur, I can change the standard deviation. And when it comes to composite, I have a bunch of operators which I can choose from which also affect the output of the filter. 
we would talk about all of these effects, all of these effects in future lessons. Now, finally, if you look closely, we see that the bounding box of the selected item after we applied the filter increases in size. We can change this in filter general settings. The bounding box of the filtered object starts negative 0.1 and negative 0.1 in the x and in the y coordinates and the dimensions are 1.2 the width and the height of the filter effects region is 1.2 times the original so this is expressed as a proportion of the width and the height i can change this to zero zero and the dimensions to one one the reason for this is for some filter effects, in particular the blur, the output image is larger than the original image. And if I have the filter general settings set like this, it will cut off the edges of the filtered image.